we're going to install the e-link accessory um, it goes in this hole here but to do that first we have to remove the hood on the uh, snowmobile and that's fairly easy to do We have the two T30 screws here that have the washers on underneath, very similar to the Gen 4. And then you're going to find two more that are hidden behind this plate right here that we have to remove. It's a fix. So that, that slides back. And then we've got two screws right here. Removing those four should take the hood right off. We have to unplug the the uh, headlights right here. Oh no, they just. This one here is hidden up underneath the uh, insulation for the exhaust. I got it. Before we can actually slide the hood off, undo the, the air box. Just loosen that enough that that hose will slide off when we when we pull it apart. Just like that. And then just gonna pop this plug out. All right. So in the E-Link bought bag, we have. Um, but this is what we want to pull out next. It's the uh, the E-Link accessory where it attaches your dash. We've already got the plug removed, so this should just pop right in. So just be careful when you're putting this in. There's two little locking tabs. I've seen uh, reports that people break them off if they're too aggressive with them. We're going to drop the, uh, the cable down the hole. And this will feed down through like that. And then we'll uh, simply push this in and lock it in place. If you look on your machine, just on the left-hand side, just above the air box thing, You'll see there's a connector in a holder. It's not connected to anything right now. So we've rooted the wire through the console here. We're going to pop this up through the hole. Then we're going to plug in the... But that's fine. Windshield has three tabs, just like the old sleds did. Start with the center, pop that in, and she's it's locked down. And now I just uh, have to do a little test here. Here, get this connecting here. Actually. And your e-link's connected.